All right, a beautiful afternoon and a beautiful sunrise this morning as well. Mm -hmm. Sally Showman is in for meteorologist Bruce Sussman tonight. Hi, Sally. Uh, good evening, you guys. You know, we did have a beautiful uh, show in the skies this morning. I watched it live. I don't know about you. I was getting ready to do the Savi Island Half Marathon this morning. And take a look. We recorded it uh, from the top of the coin tower. Isn't this spectacular? Look at those colors, the blues and the purples and the reds and nothing but blue skies and sunshine earlier on today. And that continues tonight. It's 74 degrees in downtown Portland right now. And look at all of the people at Waterfront Park. The boats just cramming in more and more by the minute down there. We've been watching all afternoon. 78 degrees is normal for this time of year. So we're a little below normal. Normal, but I don't think anyone's complaining. So, how about the Blues Festival fireworks downtown? 10 o'clock is when they go off, and I will be watching here. 70 degrees, between 68 and 70 is I think where we'll be with mostly clear skies, so conditions could not be better. 75 was the high so far today out at PDX. At 74, the high in Salem, and 75 in Eugene. We were in the 60s along the coast. Eked out at 81 in the Dalles, Burns, 84 degrees, and a matching 84 down in. Medford. We've got clear skies across the region, the clouds well up to the north and off in the Pacific. And we are going to continue to see this beautiful weather, especially in the afternoons for the next few days. There's the possibility for some morning clouds tomorrow morning and Friday morning. We'll show you that here on Raincast. But first, paused at 9 o'clock tonight, of course, because that's when it starts to get dark around here and when a lot of the festivities really get going on this 4th of July. 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, you can see areas of clouds through the Willamette Valley and along the coast. But they'll melt away quickly if you see any at all by 11 o'clock. Just beautiful blue skies and sunshine. Maybe a few sprinkles over the Cascades. But another gorgeous day on tap Thursday and Friday. Here are those morning clouds Friday morning along the coast and potentially inland as well. But again, mainly sunny by afternoon on Friday. So let's talk about 80 degrees so far this year. We had two of them in April. Four in both July and June, and of course, none so far this month. We've been quite a bit below normal so far this July. The warmest day we've had is 88 degrees in 2012, and we're going to get there again this weekend. I think some of us will be in the 90s, thank goodness, by Sunday. We'll get to the seven day forecast in a minute. 60s and 70s along the coast with patchy morning clouds giving way to plenty of afternoon sunshine. The I 5 corridor, many of us will be in the low 80s for the first time in a while. 80 degrees for Albany, 81 degrees in Newburgh. Areas of morning clouds, but then by afternoon and evening, maybe you'll have some meat left over from the barbecues tonight. Another great night for barbecuing. 85 degrees in Madras, 79 for Ben tomorrow. And over the Cascades, a mostly sunny day. Uh, 68 degrees at government camp at freezing level, way up on the mountain, 11,000 feet. Mostly sunny skies through the gorge, winds out of the west, 5 to 10 miles per hour, close to 90 degrees tomorrow in the Dalles. And back around the metro, temperatures about 79 degrees to 81 degrees, 82 maybe in some locations, 80 for Scapoose. 81 in Tigard and 80 degrees tomorrow in Beaverton. Does it get much better? The 5th of July, this is so stereotypical, isn't it? We'll plan your day for you hour by hour. Areas of morning clouds and 58 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. By noontime, 70, already 70, and mostly sunny, warm and sunny by 5 o'clock tomorrow night. And the temperatures only go up from there. Friday, we're 82, 87 on Saturday, and Sunday, 89 degrees. I'm going to have to think about getting an air conditioner again, I think. Makes it tough to come to work when it's so beautiful outside. I know. Too bad we can't do the news from the top of the coin tower. Wouldn't that be You know nice? what? I think we could. I, okay, let's I'm make it happen. I think we could. <laughs> Thanks, Ali.